Welcome to The Kelly Roach Show, a place for no fluff, easy to implement, 20 minute or less business and leadership lessons to help you build a sustainable business that scales. Let's get started. All right, all right. Super excited to be back here once again with my friend and special guest, Krista Mayshore. And I'm super pumped because she has a new book coming out that we're going to talk a little bit about today. But just before we dive in, Krista, I would love to um, take us back a minute just for those that are getting to know you for the first time. And let's share a little bit of your story and how it led you to the business that you're running today. And then we'll talk a little bit about the book. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Kelly. You know, I'm a big fan. You look gorgeous as always. Um, yeah, so I am currently a coach. I teach real estate agents and lenders how to utilize social media and video to dominate their markets. And we are also launching um, a business called the Million Dollar Month Method. I specialize in really just teaching people how to use their mindset to get the the, the, the kind of life that they want. Um, and I know, you know, a little bit about my, about my story. I haven't lived at home since I was 13 and, um, been in foster homes and group homes and juvenile hall and all that great stuff. And, um, uh, have been able to just really create a great life for myself, just based upon really, really focusing on personal development and really, really focusing on how I train my brain to work for me and not against me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, you've, you've done just incredible work really transforming your space because uh when we look at the real estate market you know a lot of realtors like that that's the thing they, they've been building their business based on referrals for so many years and then here comes the internet and they're still like wow like what do i do with this thing <laughs> right and so you have really led the charge in helping your market to understand how to leverage this amazing tool and and obviously you've done it well for yourself and now you're helping so many other people to do it so Let's talk about um, the book. And, you know, as you already mentioned with with your own story, like, you know, so much of the magic behind high levels of success always comes back to mindset and beliefs and all those foundational things. So I'm really excited to hear more about what the book is is teaching and sharing and and what the why behind the book is. Yeah. Okay. So we just actually, it's it's called a stop, snap and switch. Uh, train your brain to unleash your limitless life. And we just hit number one bestseller on Amazon yesterday. So we're, we're excited about that. Um, out of all the books I've written, this is my, my most passionate one. I feel like people always want like this, you know, they, you hear about make six figures in whatever months or, you know, join this program, do this and that. And it's like, it's, it's great. And a lot of oftentimes that can happen, but so many people fail at that, even with an exact blueprint of what is offered yes. on what to do. And so um, one thing that I've learned in coaching thousands of people is just that it's, it's, and I, and I hear it so often where we've made millionaires through our coaching program and people will be like, I'm like, what, what, what was your favorite part? And they're like, it's the mindset. And I'm just like, I hear it over and over and over again. And it really is because, you know, it, and it seems so cliche when I was writing the book, I was trying to find a different word than mindset, because I feel like mindset is just kind of overplayed. And I mean, I was trying to synonym the heck out of mindset. And there is just no other word yeah. to utilize other than it really is what you think about. Right. And I, yeah. I believe that. Um, and actually the whole book is based upon scientific research and research studies. It's, it's, you know, nothing as you know, is, is original anymore. Um, but the whole book is just based on facts and how our brain works. And so you literally can train your brain to work for you and against you. And so the book just gives um, so many examples and, on how to really train your brain um, and your thought process, no matter where you came from, to really achieve the life that you want. And, you know, mindset is so much more important than skill set. You can teach somebody how to build a funnel or how to do a million dollar a month business, but it doesn't matter what you give them or what blueprint. If they don't have their mind right, it's, it's like it, all the tools in the world will not work. It's so interesting, Krista, because you and I have had this similar journey, right? Because I've been teaching people business growth strategy for 10 years. And just last year was the first time I developed a program that was really about beliefs and mindset and understanding your operating system and your subconscious, because exactly what you're saying, literally, mm -hmm. you can give someone step-by-step, -step, play by play the blueprint of an eight-figure business. If, if the mental alignment is not there, if the belief system isn't there, it's not going to do anything. So I, I, I'm not surprised that we both kind of like 
<laughs> I came back to that same that same arena. So let's talk a little bit. And the brain is so fascinating. And it's so interesting because we're never taught how to get it to work for us, right? And that's what you're doing in the book is you're really helping us to better under understand the best tool that we have for success, which is training our brain to support us. But we never we never learn how to do it. So can you share a little bit, Krista, about like maybe some of the the lessons or some of the strategies that you teach in the book and um, just kind of like walk us through the power of, of what what you're sharing here? Yeah. So the, so I'll tell you first the stop, snap and switch strategy. Um, so we have between 40,000 and 70,000 thoughts a day. I know that sounds insane, but that's how many thoughts go through our brains. Anything from my hair is messy to, you know, what am I going to have for breakfast or I'm tired. Right. Um, but unfortunately a lot of these thoughts that we have are negative and that is a lot to do with the environment and society that we're, that we're, you know, that we're in, um, negative publicity cells, negative attention cells, and so we're constantly just flooded with negative thoughts. And a lot of these thoughts are thoughts that we we get from when we're young, from other people. They get from mistakes that we've made, um, trials and errors, things we've tried and didn't complete, things that we, you know, we we just we don't accomplish, right? So then we start to develop this belief system about ourselves. And once we start talking to ourselves and we say things like, you know, Oh, I'm not good enough, or I'm I'm too young to do that, or I'm too old to do that, or you know, um, I talk too fast, or I'm not smart enough, or I don't have enough energy. And I'm I mean, all these things, research shows that what you say, like your thoughts, your philosophies, your beliefs, they turn into your habits, your rituals, and routines, and that creates your life your success, your results, and your growth, right? But it all starts from your thoughts. So yeah. um the stop, snap, and switch strategy is basically you're stopping recognizing when you have a negative thought and you're like, oh, I just said something really bad to myself, right? Like then it could be any of those things I just said. And how the brain works is what you say to it, it goes, yes, do more of that. Like you say you're tired, it goes, oh, you're tired, great. Or, oh, you can't, you know, you're not good at that. Well, great. Then don't challenge you to do better because you're saying you're not good at it. We're going to keep you in your little comfort zone. So yeah. when you, when you say negative things or think negative things, you want to stop and recognize it. You snap the bracelet because then it gets your body in conjunction with your, your mind. And then you switch the bracelet to the other side and you restate that negative statement. So it might be something like I'm too old turns into, hey, my age is going to give me more wisdom and more patience, right? Than, yeah. than somebody who's a more experienced. Yeah. Um, and so it's just a matter of, of recognizing it and then stopping snapping and switching. And you can use it for, we do stop, snap and pose, stop, snap and breathe, stop, snap and prepare. There's like about, you know, 10 to 12 different tactics that we teach in the, in the book that again, are, are all based upon like just training your body, training your brain to like work in conjunction yeah. with you. And it's kind of cool, like the positive effects that it has, because when you start doing it, then all of a sudden people are like, what's going on with you? You know, and then, and then it starts kind of being like this trivecta effect in a, in a good way, you know? Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. And it's so, it's so true. And I say that all the time that, you know, ultimately it's our thoughts that dictate our entire lives. Right. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that most people are running these cycles of thoughts. And, and I love this strategy of, of, of stopping because they, they aren't, catching it and and it's been running on repeat for so long that your brain is just leading you through this like guided meditation of doing more and more and more of these things mm -hmm. that are actually hurting you instead of helping you. So I think raising the awareness is definitely the first step. And I love that you're giving a specific strategy for people to follow to like catch themselves when they're doing that and then have a way to to manage that to to reset and refocus into something positive. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's weird. I mean, like I've been so obsessed over this book for the past year and I've just been like researched science, right? all this evidence, but it's written in a way that's fun and easy to, to read. Like, yeah. There's a lot of stories in it, you know? Yeah. Um, but I mean, you said it like we have, we play these stories over and over again in our head. And then we just start to like live out this belief system. And I, what I want to remind everybody is like, we are the creators of our own destiny. Yes. And we're the only one responsible for creating yeah. a life that we deserve. And we all deserve that life. And so many people let their, their circumstance dictate their finance. And I tell people, create it, create your finance, create your wealth, create, you can create anything that you want. And I mean, the brain does not know the difference between, and there's, there's like so many cool studies that, that they've done with people that are visualizing something. And like, for example, they took this, these people that are playing basketball 
And they had one group of people shoot the basketball for like 20 minutes a day for two weeks. And then they had another group do nothing. And they had another group visualize for 20 minutes for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And the group that did nothing had zero improvement. The group that um, actually shot, I think they they had a 24% increase. And the group that visualized had a 23% increase. And they, mind you, they never shot a basket. They just visualized it in their mind. Yeah. And there's so many cases like that. And so the brain's neurons, it's it has something called neuroplasticity, and it doesn't yeah. know the difference between when you're actually visualizing something and when you're doing it. So when you think about things, when you say things, like you're literally rewiring and training your brain for the good or for the bad. And sadly to say, most of us, we're like our own worst enemies, right? We beat ourselves up. We, we, we never do enough. It's, we, you know, we didn't accomplish enough that day. We didn't get enough done. We didn't you know, as mothers, like we're horrible because we're working and we're not good enough mothers. And then we're not good yeah. enough, you know, um, business people. And then we're not good enough wives and we just can't do anything right. Right. So you're just yeah. constantly like, we wouldn't have any friends if we talked to anyone else or treated anyone else. And often cases the way that we treat ourselves. And so we're just creating this, this, um, habit of lack and, um, you know, it's just, it's just so sad. So I just, I'm just so passionate about really helping people just master their day and, you know, yeah. create what it is they want. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about maybe like one or two of the other uh, brain training kind of exercises that you teach, or even if you want to share one of the stories in the book, do you want to share one of the stories in the book? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I, there's, there's this one story about Mohini the tiger and Mohini the tiger. Um, he was in this cage for many, many years and it was just this long, you know, rectangular cage. And so one day this um, zoo saved Mohini and they built this beautiful, gorgeous playground for Mohini the tiger t- to stay in. But Mohini the tiger literally got into that zoo and he's, he paced back and forth in this one little area the entire time until he died because he was so used to pacing yeah. and his, his body got, you know, his brain got used to, this is all I have. I'm in this little space. I can't, and he never yeah. ventured out. And it's just like, like so many of us are like Mohini and we're, we're stuck in this cage and, and we let, you know, past experiences dictate our life. And so, I don't know. I just like, you know, I mean, I'm a good example. I was like, you know, I'm just the girl that hasn't lived at home since I was 13. I wet the bed until I was 10 because of the, the physical abuse. I couldn't read until I was in the fifth grade. Like, oh, I mean, every obstacle you can imagine was I was set up to not be successful. You know, I mean, yeah. the amount of foster kids that go to college are like, I mean, it's like hardly n- none of them do, you know, and yeah. the amount of foster kids that end up on drugs is like a- insane amounts of that, that that happens to but I just made a choice one time, like, I don't want to, I want to have the best life. And so I have had to do a lot of mental work still because we're all screwed up and we're human and we still, it's like a constant tug of war sometimes with my own self. Right. But the more that I just am vigilant about it and it's, it's almost to a point now where I'm 51, it's taken me a long time, but I, it's almost like there's not anything I don't believe I can accomplish, you know? So yeah. Um, not like crazy things like flying in the air or disappearing. I know I can't do that, but I know if it's like, if somebody else has done the thing, yeah. And I probably pretty much can do it, you know? <laughs> so a hundred percent, a hundred percent. What do you feel the biggest transformation that people will get after reading the book is going to be? I think it's, it's going to, first of all, it's going to really open their eyes that they actually have control and that they can't let, you know, their past experiences, yeah. like so many people are so caught up in what, you know, mom's fault, dad's fault, yeah. the recession, the economy, my big yeah. brother, whatever it might be. And just realizing that they truly can create whatever it is that they want, but it, it takes work just like anything else. Yeah. Um, but it can like, like every single decision or thing that we're, our life is all based upon decisions and choices that we made, right? It's all a choice. Everything came from a decision and a choice. So we have the choice to take our past experiences and use them to help us. We have the choice to make our day be amazing. We have the choice on how we react to something and how we see something. We, like a good example, my little uh, friend Birdie here, he's, he's a team member of mine, and he was just booking a trip to, to yesterday to go to um, San Diego. And yesterday it was like $950, something like that, right? Well, he waits a day, and now today it was like $350. And he's like, crap, I can't afford that. It's $350. And so he was a little bummed, and I was like, hey, everything happens for a reason. And he goes, you know what? I'm going to listen to podcasts the entire way there. I'm going to get a great mindset. And so he just like flipped it around with it. And that is, I was like, exactly, Brody. And so, I mean, that's, that is everything with yeah. our life. And I know that seems like a small little thing. And no, it's everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's yeah. I mean, how we perceive 
anything that happens is what ultimately dictates our experience of life. Yes. Right. And, yeah. and I always say this all the time, but like wealthy, happy, successful people deal with the same amount of crap that everyone yeah. else does. But the difference is one group of people can turn a challenge into an opportunity. They can turn an obstacle into a stepping stone. They can see, oh, this might le- look like work, but this is actually creating an opportunity versus another person who just sees a brick wall. And there you have two people that are being presented with the same exact circumstances, but they're gonna get two totally different outcomes. And that that's what you're talking about here, right? Yep, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and you know, like, I mean, I'm not the one to say that we we don't still have bad days, right? There's days where I have a, but I try not to make it be a day. For I try sure. to make it be like moments or minutes, exactly, right? Like shorter periods of time, and to always try to find like what's what's the opportunity here? What am I missing? What am I going to learn from this? What am I going to grow sure. from grow from this? And inevitably, so many different things that that happen that you feel might just be horrible end up being the most amazing thing that happened. So, it's so you know, true. I know that some people have gone through really traumatic things, and I. I Feel for you, and I'm. I, I know that there's things that have happened that are beyond your control. Yeah. But you do have control of how you, at at some point, choose to view that situation, move on from that situation, move past that situation, and enjoy and, and live life again. So the book just gives you, you know, a lot of strategies to do that. A lot of fun stories in there, um, and, and just just ways for you to just live a, a happier, healthier, more fulfilled life. You know, just simple 100%. things like showing gratitude. Like there's just even just showing gratitude, the, the, the amount of positive residual effects that the brain has just from you showing gratitude lasts over two weeks. I mean, it's just insane. And so when you really listen to this and go, Oh my gosh, all these little things, like I can, I can control this and really work on it. It's amazing how quickly you can just like be happy. (laughs) It's, It's so true. It's so true. And I mean, coming from someone like yourself that has achieved just the extraordinary level of accomplishment in your field that you have, that is really like leading the pack. It's just incredible. So let's tell people how they can get the book, obviously. Number one, how do they get the book? And then number two, let's invite them to where they can go to connect with you and, and share their selfies of themselves with the book and, and you know, connect with you to learn more. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is like my passion project. I can't even tell you, but you just go to kristamayshore.com forward slash pre-order SSS for stop, snap and switch. So kristamayshore.com uh, forward slash pre-order SSS. You can get a copy of it. And then just look me up. I'm on all social channels, Krista Mayshore. Uh, you can look for Krista Mayshore Coaching and and connect with us there. And, and we appreciate it. I appreciate you having me on. Absolutely. No, it was awesome to have you on the show again and always in your corner, always rooting for you. Keep doing the amazing work. Guys, one more time. It's kristamayshore.com forward slash pre-order SSS. Stop, snap, and switch. So let's train our brains, let's elevate our thinking, and let's go out there and get it. Krista, thanks for joining me on the show here today. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.